Hey everyone, I'm doing this video because uh, recently I had a couple subscribers ask me about using micro euro liters in the rain and they were talking about the problem they have with the line sticking to the rod blank and it is a problem. So when we're using euro liters, mono liters, the thinner we go with our leader, there's tons of benefits uh, with that. But one of the cons is when it starts raining out and your rod gets wet, your leader wants to stick to the rod and it can be a real pain. So you're out there, you're kind of shaking the water off, you're trying to force your cast out and it's a lesson in frustration. So there's a couple of things you can do to combat that. One, um, you can add weight at the end of your, of your rig so you can cast heavier flies, um, but what we want to do euro nymphing is we want to use the least amount of weight as possible so i don't really love that way um, another thing you can do is you can allow your fly line to extend through the rod and go out the tip um, whether you're using a traditional fly line or i like a euro line um, but i like to keep my euro line down the bottom third of my rod i don't like to have it go out my tip because then i'm losing the benefits of a thin leader um, so we're still going to get that sag. So I don't love that option either. So the best thing there, uh, there is to do is um, what you should do is get yourself a spool of one or two X tippet. Now I carry this in my pack. This is a five minute process. So if you're out there on the stream, it starts raining, walk to the side. Um, and what you want to do is you want to take your reel off. So take everything off. Um, and we're going to take this tippet and we want to tie it on the guide at the tip of the rod. I'm going to do a real quick davy here. Then we want to take this and we want to spiral it down the rod. So we're going to spiral it and you just skip the guides. And I'm not going to do the whole rod. I'm actually going to switch over to color line so you can see it in a minute. But you can see I'm forming a mono rib down the rod. And the spacing is about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. You don't want it more than that. So we're going to start from the top of the rod and we're going to go down. Now I'm just going to show you on the base of the rod. I'm going to use cider material how we finish it off. So let me do a quick Davy. Okay. Now we're going to continue from the top and we're just going to spiral it down. And when you get down to the base, you just want to simply hold it with your thumb. Now the key is, this is plumber's tape, um, it's self-bonding, so it sticks to itself. And the cool thing is, it under the wettest of conditions, it works. It doesn't stick to your rod, it sticks to itself. So no matter how wet it is, you could literally do it under water and it sticks. So what I do is I prepare all this stuff. I have this already in my pack, so in case it rains, I'm ready to go. But I cut off, these are about an inch and a quarter long by a quarter of an inch wide. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and I am just gonna grab that line with this plumber's tape and we're just gonna catch it right there. I'm gonna cut the tip it off, or the spool off I should say. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna form a couple of overhand knots and the reason we're doing that is in case it slips through the tape, I've never had it happen, but in case it does, the knots are going to catch it and it's not going to go anywhere. So you can see I've put that knot in there. Just form a bulky knot. I just did two overhands, but this is this is one X, so it's thicker. Then we're going to take another piece of this tape and right just above that knot, we're going to catch it again. Okay. You can see right there, we've got the two pieces of tape in. Just cut off the excess. You can go a little bit closer. And if you want to, just for 
safe measures, you can put a third one in there. So you can see the ribbing up the rod. So once again, we're gonna tie in our one or two X tippet at the tip of the rod, and we're just gonna spiral it down all the way to the base. And the, the spacing is gonna be about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch apart. And the cool thing is, it, what it does, it forms these ridges, and when the rod gets wet, your mono rig, your mono leader will not stick to the rod. I mean, it's just as easy as can be, it casts out. It's, uh, it's such an easy fix, and the cool thing is it actually works. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope this tip helped you. Um, just remember, I mean, some of the, some of the best days we're going to have, we're in spring now, some of the best days on the water can be those drizzly rainy days. So you just don't want to get out there and get frustrated with your leader sticking to your rod. Um, I appreciate the uh, support the channel's getting. If you liked what you saw, you can give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And uh, until next time, tight lines, everybody. See you later. Bye.